We're not against the left or the right, but what we're fighting for is to realize the thought, the law of creation that we're loyal to, and not to any party or governor. How would you define the rule of creation, this law? It's above left, above right. Of course it is. What does this law say, the law of creation, as you call it? This law of creation says that all of mankind has to reach connection, love another as yourself. And the key to keeping, to realizing this rule exists in the Jewish people, because the Jewish people have the ability to draw the upper force called the reforming light to influence it, to influence the Jewish people, the people of Israel, and to bring them together as one, to unite them. And then, through this connection of the Jewish people, when they are as one, that upper force, the reforming light, will influence the rest of the nations of the world. Is it a mystical process? What do you mean by light? It's not a mystical process. It's really the process according to which we will act and draw by it, especially special force from nature that will change us. Change us, Israelis, what will be the essence of the change here in Israel? That people will come closer to one another, that they'll help, want to help each other, and that they'll feel that they belong to one group called the people of Israel, even though that it's not a nation, because we know that, according to our roots, we belong to the 70 nations of the world. But we disconnected from all of our nations and we joined the group of Abraham. And if this process of changing public opinion will happen, people will start coming a bit closer to each other. What will happen then? Then the entire world will feel through us that in the world there's a special force of connection that's shining and everyone will be drawn to it and no one will remain under these different foreign influences that these different circles are influencing us by. Meaning we have to understand that we have a very special weapon, a very powerful one. It's an upper, superior weapon, but it's on condition that we connect. And then, through us, through our connection, we can also influence the entire world with this inclination toward connection. As you said, countries are less and less depending on physical weapons in order to win a war, but it's all around public opinion. Now, Israel has a very strong weapon in their hands. How should we use this weapon in a smart way, and maybe how do we work with it in order to make the situation better? What is this weapon? our connection, and through the connection, immediately we will feel how that force of connection through us influences the entire world and all of mankind starts coming together too. We and they around us, they want it, and subconsciously they're expecting it, they're waiting for it. And every country in the world, the hate that they feel towards us right now, it's simply the opposite of the attitude that there should be. It exists, only it works the opposite way. So we understand that these processes happen all over the world. So any country that wants to build itself against all of those forces that are trying to influence it need this process of connection, nothing will help them until we do it. Why? Because this light, this force, can only come through us. Therefore, the entire world hates us so much and is in demand toward us, justfully. So you're actually saying that the most advanced weapon for changing public opinion has to develop here in Israel? Yes, it is a weapon against man's egoistic nature and the egoistic nature of the world by which we will be able to defeat this egoistic force and bring the world to connection. And then love and connection will win.